Hey guys, and as you guys know, I am back from my week break and uh, coming back. You know, it's Tuesday, it's time for card review like usual. So I'm continuing on with my whole Stellar Knight card looking at, to give my opinions and, you know, all that stuff about Stellar Knights because I really like Stellar Knights and now the deck is topping, but can you really call that Stellar Knights topping? Anyway, today we are looking at probably one of the best cards that Stellar Knights have, uh, Stellar Nova Alpha. So it is a counter trap card and it reads, when a spell slash trap card or monster effect is activated, send one face up Teller Knight monster you control to the graveyard, negate the activation. If you do destroy that card, then draw one card. Now at first I was kind of meh about this. I was kind of like, it's not that good because you know, like, you know, if you're consistent enough, then it's good. But I'm just not sure if I really like this card. And after playtesting this card, this card is the tits. This card is beautiful. I swear to God, like, Solemn Judgment cards are just that are just so good, and this card is no exception. This card is really great and uh, really awesome for uh, Teller Knights. So just having that ability just to go ahead and just go no to almost anything, almost anything. Spell trap. Oh, well, I guess summon monster summons, which you you can't stop. So I guess that's the whole with it when compared to like Solemn Warning is when a monster is summoned, but uh, just being able to stop a spell trap or monster effect. Just by flipping this up, and again, it's a counter trap, so it's spell speed 3, so unless your opponent has wiretap, uh, you know, it's just a great thing to go ahead and be able to play this card, and uh, I definitely would recommend it in any, any uh, Teller Knight deck that's, you know, consistent enough to get out some Teller Knights, and, you know, because the problem is it can be a dead draw, but, God, when it's not, it's just so good. It's just so good. You, know, you can go summon the Neb, Sword Troll Tyre, Set this past your opponent. Your opponent activates a spell trap and monster effect. Nope. Negate it. Destroy it. Draw a card. So I use two cards to. Well, I use two cards because I played this card and tributed my monster. Well, not tributed, but sent it to the graveyard uh, to go ahead and negate whatever you were going to do. So two for one. But then I draw a card. So that draw that draw a card at the end bit. That's you know definitely helpful. You know. Because that's just one card that you'd be ahead of in your play. That's one card that'd be your next draw for your next draw fate. You know, you've already summoned Deneb and searched for Altair, so you're already good there. So just being able to be one draw ahead and then draw for your draw phase is just a great thing. Like that, that, that extra, that extra draw at the end of this card just is the icing on the cake. If it was, if it was, you know, have a Telenite monster send it, negate something. If it was just that. I still think the card would be good, not as good, because at that point it would be a neg too. You know, generally when you want to do Solemn Judgment cards, it's a one for one. You know, you know, for example, Solemn Judgment and uh, and um, the oh, Barrier, uh, the Tomb of Necro Valley. You know, it's usually I play my one card to negate your one card. This card, of course, you got you got to send your face up telling that monster, but at least you get that draw, and that's and that's where you know I'm I'm okay with it. You know, you get that Telenite monster in the graveyard, you can go ahead and bring it back with, uh, with, uh, Altair, and, you know, it just, it, it, cre it has synergy. It has synergy, you know. One thing I wish you could do is search Deneb for, with, for Deneb, and you can't do it, you know. So you can go Deneb, search Altair, Altair, summon Deneb, search Altair, Xeon or something, right? Altair, summon Deneb, Xeon or something. Well, of course, then search for another Altair. Altair, summon Deneb, but then, then what do you search for, you know? A lot of the decks that have been quote unquote topping and winning in these uh in these regionals and these uh ARGs that's not even a Telenite deck like that that is that deck right there this is what Telenites are right now that deck is literally what Infernities used to be just a crap ton of back row and just monsters that can keep the consistency you know that's all I've been seeing sometimes sometimes you know I see a couple Vegas and mixed up in there sometimes I see maybe uh Maybe a couple Ukas, but literally, I all I've been seeing was what Inferno used to be. Just three Deneb, three Altair, three Ukas, three Soul Charge, three Call of the Haunted, and a crap ton of back row. Three Vanities, like, and it's like, oh yeah, look at this uh, Telenite deck that top. Like, that's not Telenites, that's just back row. Like, that's just revival and back row, you know? Uh... And I've seen some decks mix it up, so I've been seeing them throw the freaking uh... The freaking artifact engine in there. I've been seeing, you know, Teller Knight, uh, Teller, yeah, Teller artifacts like with, you know, three Moral Tuck and three, uh, and three Sanctums, and I'm just like, okay, what synergy do they have? Like, you know, 
if mo if, if artifacts were level four lights or your tele lights were level five, I, I I could see some synergy, but I don't see the synergy. And it seems like you're just throwing it in there because you know Hat did it, so let us do it. And I'm just like, eh, you know, I play Constellars and I don't even like artifacts like that because my luck is so terrible. I wouldn't. I literally had. I was trying. I was. I tried it. I tried. I can't say that. Oh no, it's a stupid idea. I would never try. I tried it. I even tried it in real life. You know, and. It was literally, uh, I would draw into the Moral I actually had a duel. I draw into all my Moral Tax, then drew into all my Sanctums, and never drew a Sombre. That's how bad my luck is. So, I said, fuck it. Like, I, I can't have this. You know, I can't have... The last thing I need to do is just draw into one damn Moral Tax, and then have one of my Sanctums be dead. Like, that's just terrible. And I was just like, no, no. Cut it out. So, I've been, you know, searching around for other engines to uh, help me out. And I believe I actually said this in uh, my ban list prediction. If you haven't seen it, make sure that you do. But what I've been testing out, and, the, and I said I wasn't going to do it, but then I was like, eh. I'm actually trying out Constellar Knights. Yes, Constellar, Constellar Knights. You know, it help, they help with my consistency. They have their own engine. They give me more targets for Rota, of course. You know, and, just being, and just being able to go, you know, uh, you know, summon, summon with Deneb, Deneb search, okay. Whatever. Altair, summon back Deneb. Deneb, uh, Deneb search me for another Altair, which will have me ready for next turn. Being able to exceed into like a wobble chain, detach, and put one of my Constellar monsters that I want on top of the deck. And making sure that I draw into that next turn. Or being able to go straight into an Omega with those two. Like, it just helps. You know, it just helps. And Alpha is just great. I've been actually been uh, testing it on YGO Pro on my phone. And so far, the play's been great. You know, just being able to just go, okay, activate Alpha negate whatever you know and it's an awesome place when i have pleadies on the field with just one little like deneb just deneb sitting there on the field like attack with pleadies attack with them my opponent tries to activate something like no alpha no like you want to dark hole me no no draw a card like like i'm i'm starting to like it and i said that i didn't want to combine it but i'm starting to think like that might be you know the correct route to go because hands aren't good Hands aren't good anymore, man. And what I was filling in for my deck were hands, but hands aren't good, you know. Uh, clearly, Stoll's being one of the best decks with, uh, you know, with, uh, with what I'm trying to think of. With uh, Burning Abyss, you know, this set that's, you know, hands aren't good against being, you know, top deckers right now, you know. It better be, it might be better to go down a different route. I think maybe going down a different route, maybe splashing these in and being able to have more uh, rank for access, you know, being able to go into that level with chain get me set up, being able to go into that uh, Dagusto Emerald and, you know, shuffle cards back in and, and draw a card and shuffle my uh, my old tires back in and shuffle and draw a card. Being able to uh, uh, go into Castell and bounce back something that's in my way, you know. No, because you know, ton of times you you'll have your opponent will summon something. Castell is the shit. So just be able to summon, summon back, search, XC, Castell, put it back. I can't attack, but hey, put it back. Uh, what else? Going into Omega and you know having Omega ready on the field for when I summon my Pleiades. You know, I've just been feeling like uh, they've been having a little bit of synergy, and I think I might actually go with it. But uh, definitely, uh, Stellar Knight, Stellar Nova Alpha is a great card, and you know. I don't think that some judgment cards are healthy for the game, but, uh, you know, at this point, eh, it's not broke. It's not broke. It's a really good card, and, you know, as long as it's not broke. It's not It's not soul charge, but, you know, eh, can't beat him, join him in this sense, so I totally don't mind running alpha. You know, I just feel like that's kind of powerful play, and I just think it's kind of, it's been kind of helping me with my deck lately. So, but in the deck, I, I, I was thinking and debating on Vega, but I... Uh, once the time I get Vega, I really don't have something to summon, nor do I want to summon, nor do I really want to overextend and make a three. So right now, in the deck that I'm testing with the Constellar Knights, um, there is no uh, uh, Delta. There's no Delta. There's no Delta. There's no uh, three level four monsters because I just don't feel like it's really necessary. You know, Shockmaster ain't gonna get on ban, so I've just been going just Deneb. Uh, you know, Deneb, search for Altair, Altair, Deneb, search for Altair, Altair, Deneb, search for Altair, Altair, Deneb. And that's where I get stuck because I have two more Denebs in my deck. If I didn't draw, I already have two more Denebs in my deck that I can't search because Deneb can't search for Deneb. Uh, so I've been kind of debating on whether I wanted to run, like, maybe Uka or maybe, uh, you know, I would run Uka if I ran Soul Charge, but I don't run Soul Charge, so no. Uh, you know. 
I'm running Call of the Haunted, because, you know, Call of the Haunted's pretty good. Uh, but no Soul Charge. And I've just been kind of trying to figure out the deck, but I, I kind of see the synergy. But I'm kind of getting off topic, but uh, Alpha, just know, Alpha's a good card, and yeah. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about not only this card, but what you guys think about my Constellar Knight deck. Have any suggestions? Be sure to go ahead and comment them. But I want to get this. I want to get this deck to work because I kind of feel like this might actually be. It. I think that the the uh, Constellar Knight engine might just be enough to get Constellars to be consistent enough and strong enough to actually do something. You know, clearly with Burning Abyss topping, clearly Pleiades is strong. So you know, yeah. So uh, I hope that this video was. Uh, entertaining at least so uh like i said be sure to go ahead and comment in the comment section below so uh thanks for watching well slash listening thanks for uh, supporting me uh you know my channel and etc etc and i will see you guys on thursday with another card to look at not sure what i'm looking at right now but i'll figure it out so thanks for watching